What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again, and welcome to Arca Scans, where we go over this week's potential movers directly from my scanner. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community and Discord called Arca Bulls. With that said, let's dive right into the charts. Okay, you guys, so this is ticker symbol PHIO on the daily chart here, and I would like to point out a few things that are very nice right now. Daily RSI making a very bullish cross upside of the 14-day simple move moving average here and please notice that we are well within the bullish control zone of the I'm sorry we're within the gravitational zone of the bear uh, strength percentile right so this is usually an area where we get pulled up to the upside okay please remember that your 14 day simple moving average is represented by the pink line and the pink and the purple line is your RSI signal itself okay also do notice that we have increasing strength here in the MACD we have that we have that moving average cross above the MACD signal everything is looking very nice here as well okay you guys and another thing to keep in mind here daily time frame volatility versus momentum absolutely showing us some grace please notice that the ema3 and the ema14 uh sma14 are actually pivoted straight to the upside here you guys barely beginning that signal we're getting contracting volatility you guys that's usually the setup that we look for for an upside mover okay you guys so please 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 notice that that setup usually usually has a pretty nice upside to follow Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and look at the shorter time frames to see what we have in store for us. Okay, you guys, one important point here before we move on is on the daily SMA 10, we have converted it into a support level the first time for, uh, for actually a very long time since we've actually seen that, right? So uh, in particular, the 18th of April. Okay, you guys, so days and days of, of movement below that SMA 10. Let's go ahead and now look at the immediate short term time frame to see what we can come up with. Okay, you guys, so we definitely definitely have a very limited downside here on the 30 minute RSI. Stokes are also showing a potential downside too and also our MACD. Okay, so this is definitely uh, making that bearish cross. This can present a potential loading zone for our bulls. Okay, you guys, let's look at the buy hourly time frame and see what we have. Buy hourly suggesting a downside here. And if you were to kind of look at uh, in a discretionary manner, your 14 day simple moving average in comparison to the RSI signal with a downside pivot, Let's just get creative here, okay? Please, let's just note a line right at about this point here. This would be your gravitational zone that you want to be in to face a support, okay? So not only would the RSI signal face a support from that gravitational zone, but also from the 14-day simple moving average, if it is so that it can even get down to that level, okay, you guys? So uh, judging by the fact that it is the buy daily time frame, it could be just under the SMA 50 here on the, I'm sorry, the buy hourly, okay? Uh, let's see. Could be just below that 366 level at around $3.63. Okay, so very, very likely it can come back down to that area. If it does want to wick a little bit lower, you guys, so please notice that there is a deep correlation here between the SMA 10 and this uh, range top. Okay, so I'm going to draw it right about here, and this would be the SMA 10 landing right at about 353, where these candles have that correlation, right, you guys? So very likely for the price action to come back to these levels, validate, uh, uh, validate or continue grabbing some more bulls before a continuation to the upside okay you guys so looking nice on that buy hourly time frame okay so please notice here the buy uh, uh, actually the six hour time frame upside pivot increasing strength on that macd please notice that we have a very powerful upside suggestion here on that ema3 versus the sma14 you guys we have contracting volatility very healthy we're about to get that cross to the upside from the d from the dmi and also notice that we're going to get that cross to the upside i'm talking about the bulls crossing above the bears with the adx dotted line sitting at about 28 percent usually that is that is usually a pretty good sign that we have bull trend okay you guys confirmed all right notice that also the money flow index uh, absolutely showing us an incoming disbursement of returns, right, you guys? So cash flowing into the asset looking very nice. Stochastics uh, support are actually moving towards the upside as well, indicative of a continuation to the upside. Okay, so this is looking not bad whatsoever. Okay, you guys, 12-hour time frame. 
uh, looking very healthy as well. Let's zoom out of our uh, out of the picture just a little bit. Increasing strength on that MACD. You guys, please notice the upside pivots there as well. Upside pivot barely starting here on the 12-hour time frame on stochastics. Contracting volatility. All the signals that we are looking for before a continuation to the upside. We already saw the daily. Let's look at the buy daily, you guys. So please notice here that we are absolutely critically expanded in volatility for probably the longest time frame that this asset has ever uh, expanded. Uh, yeah, actually, let's see. I'm very curious to actually see that myself. And yep, in fact, that if we are absolutely in historical uh, uh, volatility accumulation, you guys. So this has never never experienced this long of a volatility buildup on the buy daily time frame okay you guys so the likely when this move starts to contract uh it's it could very well lead to a very nice upside on the buy daily time frame you guys we have a SMA 10 located at 469 but when we do have this move please notice here okay stochastic momentum EMA 3 is looking like it's starting to bounce off of this uh, SMA 14 okay you guys but the bottom may have already been found as you can see the curvature and the pivot here is starting to show some weakness for the bears okay you guys if that's the case let's go ahead and pull up the arc reversion variant my algorithm go and see just what we have in the event where we can make uh, an upside continuation. He, first of all, huge bullish engulfing candle formation here on the buy daily. And notice that my reversion variant algo has printed a long signal. OK, so we are absolutely suggesting that upside. The reversion variant is suggesting. Let me just get the arc A's out of the way. Please notice that the reversion variant is suggesting a top side of about five dollars and 18 cents on the buy daily. OK, you guys. So we just make we need to make sure that we can get into that area we're absolutely getting that cyan color in the uh, in the the volatility here i'm sorry in the in the uh the money flow index okay you guys so absolutely money flow is coming into the asset as we move forward okay ticker ticker symbol phio looking very very powerful okay you guys daily time frame all of these shorter time frames that have these upside pivots are essentially going to bleed into one another okay so six into the eight eight into the 12 12 into the day day into the buy daily and and so on. Okay, you guys. So this this is kind of uh, suggesting a continuation to the upside for a few days. Okay, you guys. Please make sure to practice risk management with uh, when trading assets like this. Okay, these are micro caps. This is absolutely something to keep an eye out for. Okay, you guys. Uh, please remember first and foremost that I am not a financial advisor. Take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment, as I cannot suggest for you to buy or sell any assets whatsoever. Okay, you guys. I need you to do your own due diligence, and everything will be okay. Please notice eight-hour time frame here. Absolutely knocking at the door of the mean uh from the from our meme reversion variant okay you guys so this is very likely to want to move upside of this eight hour resistance okay as soon as it does move upside of that eight hour resistance close a closes a minimum eight hour candle upside of the 386 very likely we can continue on to the next target which could be about 497 or around five dollars similarly to where the buy daily reversion variant resistance is located okay you guys so that is going to do it for this ticker here you guys uh, if you would like to reach out to me, definitely consider Discord, consider the DMs on, on Twitter, at me, whatever, you guys, okay? But, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good to leave off. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you well. A very good night, and I will catch you at the bell. Manana. Adios.